Hi, welcome you all to this web series where I will discuss firstly on web hosting but in my upcoming videos I will also discuss regarding type of companies I'll talk on GST I'll discuss revocation of GST I will discuss on purchasing of domains purchasing of hostings and then uploading websites and gradually if required I will also discuss various tools various platforms and various languages for developing a website so you might be thinking why I'm why I have picked this topic so I'll let you know that I learned all these things all these topics gradually over a period of time nobody taught me all these things I learned how to purchase a domain I learned how to register GST I learned how to what are the formalities of revocation of GST then I also learned about creating websites I learned HTML CSS PHP angular so on and so forth but it took a lot of time to learn all these things and I know people like me might be struggling out there to understand all these things to understand what is better what they should do which language they should learn so for for removing all these queries for making people understand I'm making this video I hope this video will be useful for all of you today's topic is on web hosting I like you to know that initially I started purchasing domains on GoDaddy and then I purchased hosting also on GoDaddy and I hosted some of the websites on GoDaddy. I like creating websites it's it's my hobby so I had hosted some of my websites on GoDaddy and one day I asked one of my friend to give a review on one of the websites and his review was the page is not opening that was a shock that was a shock forget about speed the page was not opening and it was such a bad experience for the visitors who were coming for for some information on the website So I decided to move my hostings to Amazon I moved one 
two of my websites on Amazon. I'll show you that. So initially it was very difficult for me to understand Amazon AWS because I was a self-taught person and I didn't know much about programming, coding, hosting. So somehow I understood Amazon light sale and I uploaded two of my websites here. You can see the websites here. But again, when I was hosting these websites, I was buying separate instances. And by buying separate instances, I was paying more. wherein I could have paid less by buying a single instance and uploading my all websites on a single instance. But I, at that point of time, I didn't know about it. And then again, understanding how to upload all the websites on a single instance also took a lot of time. So last Wednesday, I learned about it. And then I thought maybe I should make a video on this. So that individuals like me who are struggling with website speed who are struggling with the website ranking will take help from this website because it is when you, when you are hosting your website on a shared hosting platform where many websites are already hosted the speed you get is very less and that was the reason my that day when my friend was opening the website the website did not open so you can purchase or you can create different instances in amazon light sale and upload your different websites but that again will cost you more so instead of doing that, you can create a single instance. Here what you have to do is you have to select Linux. And then you have to select Plex hosting stack on Ubuntu. Then it will ask you for, for the space you are looking, looking at. So here as you can see I have selected 1 GB. And the cost for this is $5. For websites like mine, which are very small, 1 GB of space is enough. And in case if you require more, then you can buy 
additional space now let let me change the name of this instance to admin and create the instance as you can see that this admin instance is created it will take some time it is still pending once it will be through i'll take you to the panel from where we can host our website so it's taking some some time now you can see it is this is running so we'll click up here so now you can see that it is connected so so once it is connected we'll write sudo sudo plus login and after that we will copy these two and save in a notepad and then we will paste this in the new tab and then this window will appear we will generate the password and that password also and we will type the password uh, will type the email and then we will and then we can at this domain so this is how we will use a single instance to upload many websites